the transformation that we're going to see in the energy sector and in so many other attendant sectors is so huge that we cannot afford to leave anyone behind. No family can be left behind, no community, no city, no region, no province, no state, no country can be left behind. Because if anybody is left behind, they will be condemned to living with the consequences of an economy that frankly has seen the end of its life. We cannot afford that. From an economic imperative point of view, from a moral imperative point of view, everybody has to come on board, everybody. And that is from the United States down to Tuvalu, everybody. They have to all come on board from China to Nauru or Costa Rica, in my case. Everybody has to come on board. Now, not everybody can get on board at the same time, okay? Everybody has different realities. But that conversation, because you in particular in this room understand so deeply the compelling arguments why we're doing this, yeah, maybe we're also doing it to save the planet, but fundamentally, we're doing it because it is in our direct interest, and we all understand that. And thank heavens that that is that way, because that is the most compelling driver that we can possibly have. So those of you who understand that need to build a bridge toward those that have not understood that yet, and continue to hold an open door policy and an open ear to those who are still struggling to understand that. Because there's no doubt that we will be able to move quicker and more efficiently and at less cost if we have a coherence that is integrated all the way from the top all the way to the bottom. 